Hi guys, in this month's feature of the month video, we will take a look at how we can export lists which are created using MS lists to SQL Server using a SQL list manager. All right, so let's take a look. So Microsoft lists, these Microsoft lists are basically an evolution of what we formally refer to as SharePoint lists. Now the major difference between Microsoft lists and SharePoint lists is that Microsoft lists uh, can be created and managed independently of SharePoint as well. So even though if you don't have a SharePoint environment, you can still go to MS lists and then create lists and then manage them in a standalone um, app for MS lists. Now, similar to SharePoint lists, they can also be exported to SQL Server very efficiently uh, using Exuwork SQL List Manager. All right, so let's uh, let's take a look at how we can do this. Uh, so I will go to my apps in Office 365 and here you will see there is an option for list. Now if you click on it, this will open up the lists environment where you can see all the lists that you have previously created in any SharePoint list or independent of SharePoint as well. So let's start by creating a new list. Now here you can select a blank list or you can use an existing list or a template as well. So let's just use a template this time and let's say all right that look that template looks fine let's use this template now let's call it manager demo and for export uh, there are several other options that you can select so you can choose an icon as well to distinguish it from other apps so let's just say let's call it a rocket and here you can select where this list gets stored. Now you can either select a site, which is your SharePoint site, or you can select my lists, which will store it in my lists, uh, in your lists. So it won't be, uh, so it, it will still end up in your, uh, is in your personal site, SharePoint site, but uh, you can still access it from here. So let's select Axioworks site for this one, and let's create it. Now, once it's, it gets created, you will see that you don't really need to go to SharePoint to manage it or create items in it. You can directly do it from here as well. So for example, if I want to create a new item, I can sim, I can easily do it from here. Uh, we just select the picture for this. All right, then demo. All right, let's save this item. All right, so we have created an item in a Microsoft list environment in a list that we just created. All right, now let's export it using Exioworks SQL List Manager. So if we come back here, let's go to replication and let's create a new replication. All right, so we already have a connection to Exioworks site, so we're just gonna use that one. Click next. All right, so we know that we want to select an individual list this time. And next step is to select the list that we just created, All right? So if you open it up here, you will see that this is the list that we just created. All right, and for, for the database connection, we will use this. So this is, this, this is a database that I just created before this demo. And let's call it this application. And let's just finish that. All right, looks good. Now we have created the replication and the service has started. So in a few seconds, we should be able to see that list here. So if I refresh it and... All right, so you can see that the list has been exported as a SQL Server table. And if I look at the rows inside that, I should be able to see the, the item which I just created. As you can see, there's one item here. All right, uh, so that's pretty much it for today, guys. So today uh, we have, we looked at how we can export my lists created in Microsoft lists using SQL list manager to SQL server. Hope this demo was helpful to you. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask at info at And that's it for today. Take care.